Hello Internet. So today we are going to do load flow on uh, Python programming language. Actually, Python programming language is really flexible and widely used for scientific computations, and uh, it is also popular for data analysis and uh, data science. Widely and also widely used by data scientists. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to start. So first, uh, we have to uh, know the basic algorithm or basic flowchart of the Gaussian load flow. Okay. okay, so this is the basic flowchart for the Gaussian load flow. Uh, okay, so this is a, a very simple uh, flowchart and uh, here the initialization first, then iteration can. We have to do lots of iterations to solve the sets of linear algebraic equations that defines the uh, load uh, the power and voltages in it bosses, its bosses. So uh, basically, basically, you have to find the y bus matrix at first, and then initialize the voltages and uh, angles and powers. And particularly, we are interested in particularly three type of buses: there, PQ, PV, and uh, slag bus. And so we solve for delta and reactive power in PQ, PV bus. Similarly, we solve for uh, voltage and uh, uh, delta in PQ bus. So this is the basic flow uh, flow chart and on the basis of this flow chart we'll write the program or we'll understand the program. Okay. Okay, just let's come into our program. So here <coughs> I have defined some of the things. So defining the constants. Okay, so we will do maximum iteration up to 10. And accuracy that is the computation of previous value of voltage and next value of voltage the difference between those voltages in two different iterations uh, should be very very low yes so for the simplicity I just used base MB as one because I have used all the values in base values okay so this is the example of the Argupta example 10 Point one one. So first, we have to put our uh, data in in the format of matrix because the matrix, the form of matrix can be easily uh, what uh, you know can be taken. Yes, and calculate can and can be calculated easily. So this is the line data in terms of array, and uh, this is the boss data. Okay, this boss number. There are five number buses and it's the first bus zero is the slag bus and we have used the bus code okay one is slag bus and uh, two is a uh, uh, PV bus yes and uh, other three are PQ buses and then second we have to compute the Y bus matrix so for Y bus matrix uh, we will take all the line data values and uh, line data values and uh, and it is real uh, simple and you can just calculate the y bus so first if you run this code and uh, find the y bus so this has compared the y bus if I run the code then this is the y bus value of r data okay now let's go to the load flow so for the load flow uh, load flow for the load flow so this is this is the program for load flow uh, until this we have done already with that we have already computed the y bus matrix now next we have to gather the data uh, the bus bus number bus codes uh, power uh, reactive power, active power, reactive power, maximum and minimum limits of reactive power generations, and similarly all those things. Okay, and I, IP and SP are complex current that flow from i bus to P, P bus. Okay, so now we have to initialize or find the that is we have to grab the data from this big matrix. We have grab this values to its okay row matrix this is the this this stores the number of uh, 
bus numbers similarly delta p and all kind of data from the big matrix to individual values so the p q and s power in terms of base values if the base value if the if we we have not the power unit value but actual values we have to convert them into power unit value and this is the function we have defined uh, so if i run this and i have run this and this is the function we have to define uh, to calculate the bus voltage okay i have used the same formula that i previously used in terms of in terms of code and similarly q and uh, p okay and in this code we have started the uh, iterations and iterations basically two conditions until two conditions satisfied we will iterate yes so max iteration is 10 so we will iterate for 10 and another is max error should be greater than the get record to accuracy okay so that's all and uh, first we check the bus yes for bus for bus 1 to uh, number of buses we check the bus if the bus is number two that is it is pv bus we calculate the q if the q limit satisfied then we calculate the v similarly if it is not satisfied then we check for the limit and if the limit are crossed then it will be pq bus similarly if the bus is zero that is slack bus we sorry if the bus is zero then it is pq bus then we just calculate the voltage there okay so max error is the deviation of the voltage between two situations and uh, similarly we compute the power of slack bus this is important part this is the part of slack bus because zero is the zero is slack bus and uh, we just run out run this so if I run this program, then we will find all the values here. Okay, so this is PQ bus. Voltage is dropped here, 0 0.96. Yes, normally in PQ bus, voltage becomes down due to the load. So appropriate compensators are used in PQ buses. Okay, thank you for watching this. This code is openly available on the web page which is given in description below thank you